Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to take your good looking digital footage and give it the Super 8 film look for not only for free, but uh, in about two minutes. So let's hop right into it. Okay, so we're in Premiere Pro and I have all my shots already in my timeline. Now my shots are all handheld. That's because a Super 8 camera is a handheld camera. And if we want to emulate that look as accurate as possible, shoot handheld. It just gives that, that you know, more authentic look. And that's what we want to go for. That being said, I have a few overlays here. I have a grain overlay that I made, a little grungy overlay that I made. You can download all this in the description below. Let's go ahead and drag that eight millimeter grain slash grunge overlay that I made on top of your footage. And you'll notice that there's an audio layer that comes in with it. So alt, click that bottom audio, audio layer, delete it. I forgot to turn the audio export off. Then go ahead, delete that end. Now you'll have this, obviously you can see the grain here. Go ahead and go to effect controls, opacity, go down to soft light. You'll notice that it adds a dark, you know, crushes the blacks if you would. And I did that intentionally because I feel like film always has, you know, slightly crushed blacks. And rather than having you go in Lumetri and change all your colors around and mess with it, this just does it for you. And if you don't like that, go to subtract. And I notice that it gets rid of that darkness, but it still keeps that grain. What I like to do is go to soft light again, but I like to back it off to like 70%. Then I still have that, you know, rougher grainy look, but you, you get the dark crushed blacks with it as well. That being said, now we want to go ahead and drag on our Super 8 border, which is this. If you can't tell, it already looks a whole lot more Super 8-y, of course. And now that we have the border, we have the green on top, we're almost done. We want to go ahead and take the actual footage. Let's just choose this clip, for instance. Go to Effect Controls, scale it to 89. This 89%, you'll notice, cuts off right there at the top and right there at the bottom. I'm actually going to drag this slightly down and reframe. And what we're doing here, if you remember, before I unscaled it, let's just go over here to check this clip out. You can see that the bottom over here and the top are the same shot. Now, the Super 8 film roll, right? The reason this looks like this is because it's a roll of film. Each frame should be captured within these borders. So again, go back to this one. I already set it to 89%. I'm going to go ahead and drag this up, go to my effect controls, I'm gonna drag it up until we get to that border there. Perfect, I'm gonna copy this one more time, drag it down. And now you can see that it, it's duplicated on top and bottom and that makes it look like the film roll is going. So when I play this back here, you'll see how the top and bottom are replicated. And you'll notice that it looks a little weird now when we come to the new clip that we haven't done it to. So make sure that you do that. Now that that's done, there's one final important step that you cannot miss because if you want it to look as authentic as possible, this is how you do it. Go to effects, type in posturize time, Underneath posturize time, drag it onto that first clip. We'll just go right here to this base one. We'll go to effect controls and we'll change it to 18. And yes, I said 18 in case you are unaware, Super 8 film was shot at 18 frames per second, which gives like the whole roll like three minutes, 15 seconds or something like that for one full roll of Super 8 film. That being said, this is just what it is. So Super 8, we're gonna make sure that it says 18 on posturize time. I'm gonna cut this. Command X, select every shot. Now Command V it, that way it doesn't duplicate twice to the original one, but it's applied to every shot. Now every shot will be playing back at 18 frames per second. You can still export at 24, but it, it will play back in a more correct manner. Something else I wanna make sure I go ahead and do is on my eight millimeter grunge overlay that I've already given you guys, go back to effects, type in grain, and then underneath noise and grain, you'll see noise, click noise, drag it onto the eight millimeter overlay. Go back to effect controls and I'm going to bump this up to like 50, maybe a hundred actually. I really want to push that grain. I'm going to turn off color noise and maybe I'll back it to like 80% because I really like the extra grainy feel to that. And then, uh, and then they're done. And if you really wanted to even spice it up more, you can add some like film burns. However, I don't have those to give to you right now. So that's that. That's my whole process. That's what I do at least when I want to emulate that Super 8 film look. I hope you guys enjoy the video. And again, if you want to support the channel, you can join as a member. And if you want to support the channel without joining as a member, uh, go to the store, pick up a little overlay pack or something like that. It's like five bucks. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. You can support just by pressing like and subscribing, sharing the video, doing whatever you got to do. Appreciate you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Also, I'm doing a Q&A soon. If you guys want to be in that Q&A, put a question in the comments below or go to the post on the community tab. Find it. It'll have a big picture called Q&A. Ask away and I'll be sure to answer to you. That being said, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon.